Welcome guys, this time I have some pretty rad stuff to show you. One of you actually suggested that I create a black hole pulsar system, and I ended up doing it. Here it is. This is majestic as fuck. This is one of the most beautiful things you can create in the game. Watch them go. things. Stop, yeah. Follow them. Yeah, like that. Maybe just a little different, because the black hole uh, sucks in all the light coming from these pulsars, because its gravity is so large. It's beautiful. And the music just enhances it. do it yourself there is actually a tutorial in the game uh, for creating one of these things like creating pulsar tutorial it's pretty helpful I ended up doing these things looking at that tutorial it's like a cosmic dance isn't it beautiful and what happens when we try to add other things like maybe I don't know another black hole Put one right there. Yeah, like that. I guess. It. Magnetic field. Tenny. Plus 12. Done. Pull angle. Something like 15. And. Last but not least. Change. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, rotational period. Two, uh, in terms of minutes, maybe like two minutes, yes. And now we have one more pulsar around another uh, black hole. Keep the game going. And I forgot to turn on um, the orbits. They're gonna be helpful. Or trails, trails better. Yeah, keep going. Black holes are getting getting closer oh things are getting hotter messier yeah wow <laughs> one of them crashed right in those two other ones are going away Donald don't try to escape your sex you're leading his way nasty boys don't try to escape from me. Don't try to escape the a-hole. That's what it's... No. Yeah, the other one's called a-hole, yeah. I'm so funny, yeah. And now it's time for a dance of the stars. Though, these ones look like gas giants. I tr I've tried them before, and, I, and they don't create supernovas, I think. Um, pause the game. Place one more. Fix our orbits, as always. Hot orbit. Orbit. Yeah, they're already dancing. Only two ones is just fine. They can stay in orbit with each other for quite a while and not crash into each other. But when you add the third star, things get a lot messier. Many people have tried to create trinary star systems. They simply do not work as far as I see. But, oh, yeah, yeah, they don't work. That is beautiful. Let's slow the time. Oh, oh. Uh, they did create a supernova. That was a supernova. No, 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 no. Yeah. All the fragments, all the colors. That last one. No, uh, it's the actual remnant. There were three stars, though. Only two of them crashed into each other. Where's the third one? It might maybe just. Not blown away. No. Oh. Yeah, zoom out. Another supernova. Oh. In each one of these videos, you're gonna see more than one supernova. I just realized there's this one other thing that we should have played with a lot more, and that is galaxies. 
Instead of watching one pre-made uh, simulation of galaxy collision, we should have created our own collision. And now it's at 3.3 million years per second. Look how fast that is. And the galaxies are finally starting to move. And they're gonna come together and make one big friendly and cozy family union to create one big uh, vast galaxy together. They're not moving fast enough, come on guys, speed your game up, faster, at least 5 million will do, yep, and now they're getting closer, if that one's a little behind, it's catching up, yeah, they're gonna fight and shout and pout and dance around each other till they find a balance and finally create one big galaxy, but it'll take time, they lose stars, and they'll create these beautiful vast clouds around them, full of stars being sh uh, spit out everywhere. These red dots, huge stars, beautiful, huge cloud of dust and dancing and fighting. Of galaxies. So let's move on. Once again, we're back to our own solar system to do something a little bit different, to try something that we've been desiring for quite a while and having got the chance to try it. It is saving our little brother, our cold, lonely, and stupid brother Mars. Give it a chance for its future. Change its face forever. Make it a little more desirable for Venus. Uh, instead of uh, like trying to edit all these little different uh, values, I'm just, I'm just gonna be a cheap ass motherfucker and change the temperature to something like 20. Now, the temperature is livable for humans. Uh, we gotta uh, see how the climate... Yeah, greenhouse effect. It's not enough for now. Atmospheric mass. It's gonna be the same as Earth. And now, it has a proper atmosphere. But it still doesn't have water. One last thing. It's supposed to say that it has just a little water because probably it does in the poles. I'm not an astronomer, I don't know those things, but still. Let's keep it... Oh, wait, what? Oh. Uh, okay. Please, Mars, don't be like that. For one last time, I gotta try it. 20. 20. Your temperature. Okay. Now. Let's change what the atmosphere is like. Uh -huh. At least, I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Make it the same as, no, like, maybe like somewhere there. That doesn't turn you into a sun. Good news. Does that, no, you're still not a sun. Oh, wait, wait. I, oh, oh, uh, okay, 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 I, I don't give up, I'm just not gonna, um, uh, do anything about the atmosphere, leave it as it is, and try, one last time, please, God, please, Mars, <laughs> I'm not gonna try this again, I'm not gonna mess with any of those other things like atmosphere or magnetic field, just, I'm gonna be cheap and right away go into the temperature, make it 25, and mess with the amount of water, and I'll be done with it. Okay, that's an ocean, but it's not, yeah. Close, close, close. Yeah, now we can see the actual landmass. Slow it down even more so we can appreciate the beauty, but we still. No, we still gotta add some more water. 
so we can have some islands. Yeah, appreciate it. It's beautiful. Only if it had some vegetation, that'd be great. But there is no light whatsoever at this point here, because we just changed the amount of water and temperature. Uh, there is no proper atmosphere. But probably some sort of life would live here, even without this water. Somehow, life always finds a way. And if we just waited a few years, Earthlings would be here right away. Like we didn't, we wouldn't miss any chance to colonize this beautiful planet. Nice, nice. All the craters filled with water to make lakes. And after a few years, we could actually see the city lights at this part of the planet. It wouldn't be dark anymore, anytime again. Oh my sweet child Mars, now you're less trashy of a planet. And you've become enriched with the gift of Pluto's. The Pluto, the most beautiful and majestic uh, uh, body in the space, I don't know. In your orbit, we had like three Plutos. One of them's gone, I don't know where. Yeah, it's, no, it's just a fragment. The other one, yeah. I don't know what happened to that one. I'm not wondering anyway. But the greatest way for me to end this video would of course be ending your majestic life as a livable planet by turning you into a sun just like that little brother of yours, Pluto, spinning right behind you. Let's uh, slow it down and do this. Yes. Yes, please. And every time it changes a little, little more, it changes its color. Now it's all the way white. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you ever want me to uh, record any other aspect of the game, feel free to tell me. And feel free to send any kind of feedback, because I adore any kind of feedback. Negative or positive. See you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.